Hello there. Today we are starting a new video series on VB script. So let us uh, get started with the first video in this series. First of all, what is VB script? Well, VB script is a scripting language and it can be used for a number of things. It can be used to automate administrative tasks on a computer. So let us say you want to add a map drive to your computer. So you can use VB script for that. If you are a system administrator and you just want an inventory of uh, the software installed on uh, 100 different computers, you can create a VB script and it can allow you to get the inventory on each of those 100 computers separately. VB script can also be used for server side scripting in websites. In a website, there are two kinds of scripts, the server side and the client side. The server side script runs on the web server and VB script can be used for that. The client side script of course runs in the browser on the user's machine and JavaScript is used for that. VB script can also be used to automate testing tasks in a number of tools like QTP and test complete. So let us see what is VB script. Now VB script is a scripting language. It means that it is an interpreted language. If you write a script in VB script, it is not need to be compiled. That is unlike programs in other programming languages like C or C++ or Java. There a step of compilation is required. So if you write a program in Java, first you need to compile that program and then only you can execute the compiled program. There is no such limitation in the case of VB script because it is an interpreted language, which means that you just write the statements in your VB script and you can directly execute them. At the time of execution, the computer will read one statement at one time and execute it, then it mo move to the second statement and like that until the end of the script. The good thing about VB script is that uh, it runs on all Windows machines because it is built into the Windows operating system. VB script is similar to Visual Basic, but it is simpler and it is uh, very easy to learn and it is a lot of fun in writing your own scripts in VB script. The complete name of VB script is Microsoft Visual Basic Scripting Edition. So let us get started with VB script now. In VB script, there is a concept of variables. Now, what is a variable? Well, a variable is a name or a reference or a placeholder within the script. Now, you can think of a variable as a scorecard. So it is a reserved place and you can place any kind of data within that reserved space. We'll see exactly what is a variable in this video. When you put a variable name, you can choose any variable name that you like, but there are certain rules that you have to follow. First of all, it has to begin with a letter. For example, valid variable names in VB script are X or STR name or cust address, but all of them have to begin with a letter. Another thing is that the VB script variable names are case insensitive. So if you write sum in lowercase or you capitalize S, it is one in the same thing. So that you have to keep in mind. The variable name can be any number of characters from one character to 255 characters long. The variable is declared with the dim statement. So if you want to use a variable in your script, you have to declare it with the dim statement like dim num1. The variable name that you choose should be meaningful. Why? Because it makes your script more readable. If you are going back to your script after a couple of months you've written it, then if the variable name is meaningful, you'll be able to understand the purpose of that variable name. Also, if someone else reads your script, if the variable name is meaningful, they'll be able to make more sense of your script. Now the variable data type is variant. What this means is that if you declare a variable in VB script, that variable can store any kind of data. 
it can store a number or it can store a string or it can store an object so the same variable can be used to store any kind of data in VB script and we'll soon see the variables there is one statement in VB script called option explicit if you use this particular statement then it makes it compulsory for you to use variable with declaring them first okay now let us start with a simple script now so first let us see the flowchart of a simple VB script that adds two numbers so the flowchart says just start then assign the first number to x now it is a two-step process first the variable name here is x and vb script is going to reserve a space for storing this particular variable value so initially just the memory location is reserved where the data is going to be stored but it does not contain anything and then we can actually store the data value within that variable location then assign second number to y and again it is a two-step process first the memory location for y is reserved and then the data is stored in that memory location and here one thing to keep in mind is that from now on we can refer whenever we refer x we can get the value that is stored in x so that means we can get the value of one and same with y whenever we refer y we can get the value that is stored in y another th thing to keep in mind is that we can change the value of these variables for example we can store another number in x maybe we want to store 5 in x so we can do that because x is a variable and we can change the value of that variable at any point within our script store the sum to z so again two step process so the memory location for z is reserved and then it takes the values in x and y variables adds them up and stores the expression the value of the expression to z and then display z and stop so now let us see this vb script and for that what i have done is i have used uh, a text editor called notepad plus plus if you are interested in this you can download it from this website notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org and here you can go to the download link and uh, there you will see the latest version of the notepad plus plus installer you can pick any installer for example the zip package and you can use notepad plus plus instead of notepad plus plus you can use any other text editor like you can use notepad or you can use the there are a number of open source uh, text editors that you can use you cannot write vb script in uh, uh, another word processor for example microsoft word because word is not a text editor it stores a number of different characters along with the text so we have to write vb script using a text editor only so I have uh, notepad plus plus open over here and here is the script now the comments in VB script start with an apostrophe so here we have an apostrophe or you can start with a rem statement rem and then give the comment the comment means it is a non executable line of code so it is just meant for readability purpose it is not going to be executed so comment are useful for putting notes to explain what the script does for your own benefit and for the benefit of anyone reading your script so assign first number to x so what we need to do first is declare x so x is our variable here when we say dim x the script simply reserves a memory location where x is going to be stored and we can refer to the value in this memory location by x then we say x is 1 now x is equal to 1 is an assignment so what we are doing is the right hand side of the equal to sign that value or expression is computed and it is assigned that is means it is stored in the variable x so 1 is stored in x similarly there is another comment assign the second number to y and again we declare y and then 
assign the value of 2 to y so x now contains value of 1 y now contains a value of 2 then there is another comment which says store sum to z so we declare z then here there is an expression on right hand side of the equal to sign x plus y x plus y really means the values of these variables so x is 1 and y is 2 x plus y is 3 so 3 gets stored in z and then we display z so this comment says so there is a statement in vb script called message box it just shows a message box and the message box is going to show a string of characters so here the string of characters is the first part is the string of characters is within the double quotes so the sum is the ampersand symbol is used to combine two strings so it will sh say the sum is at the value of z so let us see how we can execute the script there are a couple of ways you can execute the script the first way is you can just go to the file and you can double click on the file the file has to be saved with dot vbs extension so sum dot vbs just double click on it and it executes one statement after the other and finally it executes a message box statement so here it says the sum is 3 another way of executing the script is you can open the command window and navigate to that particular folder where the script is stored so in my case I have stored the scripts in E drive VB script folder so I just go over there how to go over there first of all you go to that particular drive and then you say CD and you can change the folder and you can go to that particular folder in which the script is stored now here you want to execute the script so this name of the script is sum.vbs so all you need to do is type in the name of the script sum.vbs and click enter so it will execute all the statements one after the other and finally the last statement is the message box and here we get the result the sum is 3 okay now the problem with this particular script is that here the data is constant x is always 1 and y is always 2 so this is kind of silly because uh, we don't always want to execute uh, with the same data so what we can do is we can enhance this particular script so that we can get the input from the user and we can see the other concepts also so this is uh, the enhanced vb script that we have over here so this is the complete script and uh, let me just uh, explain this script the first statement is option explicit option explicit means that we need to compulsorily declare all the variables without uh, before using otherwise we will not be able to use a variable then we have dim first number in the last example we just used the variable names as x y and z but x y and z are not meaningful so it is better to give meaningful variable names so we have dim first number so first number becomes the first variable then we have to assign some value to it now here we have used the input box function now the input box function basically opens a dialog box and there is a place for the user to give the input and we can give couple of arguments within the input box function argument means that the value that we can provide along with the function so the first value is uh, the prompt itself so what it is going to say so it will say please enter a number to add and then there is an optional second parameter for uh, the title of that dialog box so the title says first number now the next statement is so this whatever input is given by the user gets stored in the first number now here what happens is that the first number is a string of characters but we want to convert it to an integer so all we do is we use the cint function cint basically converts the input input argument to the corresponding integer so that is stored in the first number and then we have declared the 
second number and second number is the same so we use the input box function the input box function is going to say the prompt is going to be please enter the second number to add to the sum and here is an example of uh, string combination or string concatenation we have added uh, three strings vbcrlf is a special character in vb script so what it does is it brings the cursor to the next line so please enter the second number to add will appear on the first line and to the sum will appear on the next line and here the title is the second number and we can give another argument in the input box function and that is a default value so if the user does not enter any value there will be a value of 0 already present in the input box and then we convert it using cint to an integer and store that integer in the second number variable then we have declared a third variable sum and uh, this is again a meaningful name and what we do is we add up first number and second number so whatever value is in the first number and whatever value is in the second number is added and stored in sum and then we display the sum by using the message box statement the sum is this one so let us execute this vb script so first of all let me clear the screen and type in the name of the vb script sum one dot vbs so first of all what's going to happen is it is going to execute the input box function on line number four so here we see that the prompt is please enter the number to add and the title of the input box is first number so we can put some number over here so let us say we put 10 and click on ok so as soon as we click on ok this string 10 will be stored in the first number variable so we click ok and then we have the statement in line number 8 being executed so here the prompt is please enter the second number to add and because we use the vbcrlf character to the sum appears on the second line and the title of this input box is a second number again given on line number 8 and the default value you can see is already put as 0 so let us give some other value over here say 20 and when we click on OK, this value of 20 will be converted to an integer and stored in the second number variable. And then it executes line number 11. Uh, it adds up the two numbers, first number and second number. And line number 13 executes. So it says the sum is 30. So this is the complete script. Now let us see what is the benefit of the option explicit statement well in order to do that let us comment out the option explicit statement and here now since option explicit is not there anymore in the script which means that declaring variable becomes optional so let us remove or comment out the dim statements also now this program script will also work exactly the same way so let us add couple of numbers 2 and click on ok and then give 3 and click on ok so the sum is 5 it is showing it correctly but the problem here is that we may misspell any particular variable so let us say when we are writing uh, sum is equal to first number plus second number we just forget to put it correctly so what will happen over here is vb script will understand that this second number is a new variable because this does not contain any value so sum will just contain the first number so let us execute it one more time so let us add couple of numbers so let us add uh, 1 and try to add 1 and 2 so it says the sum is 1 so this is the problem when you don't use the option explicit statement so mistakes can occur and it is difficult to debug the script if you have just misspelled the variable name so that is why it is recommended that you use the option explicit statement so let us revert the option explicit statement so now option explicit statement is on now 
and what will now happen is because we have not declared the variables it is going to give an error so let us execute this script once again so please enter a number to add so I'm going to put one and here we get an error it says variable is undefined why because option explicit is now given in the script option explicit is has to be the first statement in the script so it makes it mandatory to declare all the variables we are trying to use the variables without declaring them so that is why the script is giving an error so if we declare all the variables by using the dim statement then it will not be a problem so let me just uh, uncomment all those statements and save the script and run it one more time so I'm going to add the two numbers one and two and now you you can see there is uh, another problem it has found out that second number is misspelled it is not declared so we can go back and we can see what is the problem and the problem is that it is misspelled so make the necessary correction and save the changes to the script and run it a final time so I'm going to add the two numbers one and two and it correctly displays the result as three so that is all in this video in we'll continue the series on VB script and uh, cover the important concepts on VB script so see you in the next video thank you